so nearly into week 20 and we're just having a listen to little Mo. He's happy, he's cute. He's baby. <laughs> We're here in the, <laughs> in the Lake District and there's a few cows around and it's a bit muddy and Dyer's not coping very well with the smell. <laughs> What's it smell like? Shut up! Apart from the occasional burst of morning sickness, a few oversensitive senses and of course the ever delightful baby bump, the reality that we're soon to be parents hasn't really hit. Dye's blooming nicely and making the most out of being pregnant. With Di, there's never a dull moment. Recently, while we were in Wales, she even got involved in rescuing a poor little lamb that was lost on the main road. <laughs> but since then, we've been all over England. Di wasn't going to let pregnancy stop her from missing out on these exciting adventures. And from Wales, we headed to York. Hello! We're at St. Daddy's Hotel at our adventure in York. A weekend before the scan. But it was here in York where we got a sniff of reality. <laughs> well, last night we had a bit of a rough night. Little Minxie was a little bit sick. How are you feeling this morning? Better. I can assure you, she was very sick. <laughs> she didn't look very good. But we had a little miracle this morning, didn't we? What happened? Well, I was a bit worried because I hadn't felt him all night. And then this morning, he kicked really hard. I was praying really hard. It was and I got to feel him too. I was holding it and he was like... He was kicking that strongly. He was like... Whoa. He was going... <laughs> Let my people go! <laughs> this was literally the kickoff to what we hoped would be a very memorable week. The week of the big scan. Oh, we get where we're going to. We're going to the scan now. I've got all my stuff. Well, we went to Leighton Hospital today for our 21-week scan. He came and Auntie Chris came and we're all gathered in the little room and we're able to see Moses kicking around and everything it looks perfect. Everything looks like it's going really well. We're a bit disappointed because we are still no close to find out whether it's a little boy or a little girl, um, but we're excited no matter what. We just can't wait. <laughs> We're enjoying spending what little time we have left in England with our family. Here's Martin riding along. Family time has been great and we value them all and we're going to really miss them. Oh God, I need you that. Our visit to England has been life changing and living with Uncle Paul and Auntie Chris has been the biggest privilege and we're so grateful. Bye. But shortly we're off to Europe and back home via the US and Fiji where we'll start writing a whole new chapter to our life story. So keep watching Pete and Di's blog and follow us on our overseas adventure.